Hi there and welcome to another video on measurement and this time we're looking at the area of a triangle. Now the area of a triangle involves a formula so we should set out our formula solutions in the following way. Line 1 we'll put the formula for that particular shape. Line 2 we'll look to substitute all the numbers from the questions into the right spot in the formula or just under the formula. <laughs> Calculate the answer and then we'll check our units carefully. Uh, this time we're looking at the area of a triangle, so instead of using normal units, we will be looking to use some square units. So we'll be looking to use square centimetres or square millimetres or square metres, depending on what the question has in it. If we were using volume, we'd be um, figuring out volume, we'd be looking at using cubic units. But this time it's going to be the area of a triangle, so we'll be expecting to use square units in this video. Okay, the area of a triangle. We have a base and a height, and you'll notice that there's a 90 degree angle down the bottom here, so that height we say is perpendicular to the base. We need to measure our height for the area of a triangle at 90 degrees to the base. That's really important. So the area formula, or the area arrangement, is half the base times the height, and as I said it's got to be a perpendicular height. I'll stress that a few times in this video. Now if we use B for base and H for height, we can have a shortened version here with just letters in it. A equals half B times H. Okay, let's have a look at some numbers here. We've got 10 on the base and we have 6 as our perpendicular height. You'll notice the perpendicular height is one of the sides of the triangle. That doesn't always happen, but it does in this case. So let's have a look. A equals half of whatever the base is. Now the base is 10, so that'll go next. And the perpendicular height is 6. So we're just uh, subbing in those numbers in line 2. And we calculate there half of 10 or times 6 on our calculator. We'll get 30. Now I've got to check out what units we want to be using. Now the question itself had meters in it here and over here. But when we're finding areas, we are looking to use square units. So instead of meters, we'll have our units in our final answer as square meters. This next one has a base of 32 centimeters all the way across the bottom there. This time our perpendicular height measurement, the height 90 degrees to the base, is actually kind of inside the triangle itself and that's 20 centimeters. So we'll be using that for our perpendicular height this time. Half the base times the height, half of the base is 32 and the height is 20, the perpendicular height is 20. We'll do our calculation there and we'll get 320. Now for our units, we'll be looking to use, once again, square units for area. We must remember that. So instead of centimetres, which was in the original dimensions of the triangle, we're going to be looking to use square centimetres for this particular answer. So pretty similar to the first example, except the perpendicular height was measured inside the triangle. That's okay. As long as it's at 90 degrees to our base, we can use it for our perpendicular height. Next example, this is a bit of a strange one. We have a base here. Now we're only measuring the bit that's on the triangle. So the base here of 17.6 uh, kilometers, it's a big triangle, might be a field or something, I don't know, part of a farm. But uh, our perpendicular height is actually measured outside the triangle. Now that's okay, we're allowed to do that. We have a base of 17.6 and our perpendicular height is measured on those extensions here perpendicular height of that triangle right up to that top vertice there 12 kilometers so that's the one we're going to be using for our uh, perpendicular height bit strange but we'll go with it half the base so we get half of our 17.6 was our base times by our perpendicular height of 12 kilometers and when we process those numbers we have 105.6 for our number now original units here was kilometers but as you're probably getting used to me saying, we are looking to use square units for our area answer. And in this case, we use square kilometers. So whatever the units are originally, we'll have the square version of that for our uh, final units. So what we learned from that question, in a kind of a strange way, we can, we're allowed to measure our perpendicular height here outside the triangle itself. 
So uh, we're allowed to measure it uh, either as one of the sides, like in example one, as a as a measurement inside the triangle, as in example two on this, or we're allowed to measure it outside the triangle itself. That's okay too. So we're just following the formula each time there. Okay, so once again, it's a formula-based question. So we put the formula up the top line, we substituted all the numbers in the right spots in line two, calculated our answer, and we had to be pretty careful with our units. This time we were doing the area of a triangle, so we're down here using our square units. And there we discovered the area of a triangle was uh, half the base times the height, and we made sure it was the perpendicular height, the height that's at 90 degrees to the base. Okay, there's some good examples there of finding the area of triangles. All the best with your studies, and if you're not sure of anything, have a check out and see if that topic is, uh, is dealt with at peterblakemaths.com. See you next time for some more area videos.